What's up creators, it's Curtis, and in this quick video, I'm going to show you the new Ideogram version 3 in Dream AI within my designs. We'll cover the settings, I'll show you how to use it, and of course, I'm going to quickly show you how to scale designs, as well as how to get prompts from existing designs fairly easy. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm logged into my My Designs account. In the left, left menu, you can see I'm under the Dream AI tab. If you're not familiar with Dream AI, we basically integrate with all of the top leading image generation models and bring them directly into your print on demand and digital products workflow. And of course, enable you to do things that like bell or uh, scale these designs out if you like, uh, remove backgrounds, upscale, vectorize, uh, publish them as products, etc., and a whole suite of other features. But we're going to stick to Idealgram. So inside Dream AI, uh, the first thing I'm going to do under mode is make sure it's text to image. We also support image to image or remix image in Ideograms case. And under style you have now, well first I'm going to go down to models. So you can see I got uh, Ideogram version 3. Now version 3 turbo will be coming somewhat soon, but right now it's just version 3 which is a higher quality model. And we have a whole list of other models here as you can see, but this video is for Ideogram version 3. So I'm going to select that and with that being said, Ideogram has styles. So you can do auto, which I recommend for most things. But if you like, you can do random, general, realistic, or design. Design's also another really good one, uh, especially for print on demand or digital product related designs. So I'll stick with that. Now you have images. You can generate from anywhere from one up to four images. And this is the aspect ratio of the image. You can choose that. In most cases with t-shirts, that'd be a three, four aspect ratio or one, one. It's really popular as well. So I'll stick with that. I'm going to turn magic prompt off, but if you need help with a prompt, you have a really basic prompt, you can turn it on and experiment with it. Um, another cool thing here is parallel prompts, which I'll touch on in a minute. And then here is where you would put your prompt. So in this case, the hockey mom design you see here, a very simple prompt. I'll read that out. A design that reads hockey mom. You want to put that in these uh, quotation marks prominently. The word mom is written in a black retro font while the word hockey is depicted with a hockey puck and sticks. The puck is placed on the ice with cross sticks behind it and there's a small heart symbol near the puck. So you can see the Ideogram version 3 is really good at following your prompts and the details. So once you learn how to prompt it, it's really cool. Uh, let's finish this. Uh, it's also isolated on a white background. Now I could change this to a black background and ask it to make the font or the text here white. You can do whatever you want. Uh, down here there's a few other settings for visibility. If you make this public, you can see that the dreams are less. I'm generating four images here. So if I move that to one real quick, let's see what that looks like. You can always keep your generations private, meaning you're the only one that can see them. Um, you can see it's three credits per image generation with one image. Now, if I move that up to four, that's 12. If you make it public, you get a 30% discount, uh, reducing that cost, but it also makes it available here in the public library, which I do have open. So I scroll up. Uh, these are all just public images from other users, which is really good place for you to get inspiration. If you click in any of these, You'll see the prompt here. You can just copy it. You can modify it, move it over into Dream, and make your own designs with it, etc. So it's a really good place to get inspiration, find other designs you can search, etc. But now back to Dream AI. Um, this prompt here is really good, right? But I'm going to remove that and show you how to do your own. Now you can find your history down here. So that's pretty much it. The settings are really simple once you understand them. I'm going to minimize this window, not minimize, but move it down. So I have an image here. Let me open that up so you can see it. This is already one I generated, but it says Volleyball Mom. has a volleyball in the middle there at the heart. Really simple design. I'm going to take that. You can drag and drop it here, or you can take a screenshot of an existing design or image somewhere and just control V inside here, like if you hover over this, and it'll generate a prompt for you. So if you're not good at coming up with prompts, this is one way to do it. Whoops. I need to, dra I need to drag that into this image here. So let me just go like this. Grab the Volleyball Mom. And now you can see prompt is being generated. That takes one credit. But here's your prompt. So a stylized textual design that reads Volleyball Mom. The word volleyball is written in bold. Uppercase letters with a graphic representation of a volleyball embedded within the word. The word mom is written below. So anyway, that's the prompt. It got it from the image. So I'm going to just dream real quick. Make sure that's public. We got four images. Let's just dream and let you see how that works. This right now is on the 3-4 aspect ratio. But again, that's great for t-shirts, etc. So we'll give that a second. doesn't take too long. And there you go. So that's a little different. I'd probably switch this to, in fact, let's go back to 1.1 one, one and try that again. I'm making these public so that you guys can find these after in the Dream AI library. And I'll link to that in the video description as well as the chat or my designs GPT, which I'm going to show in a minute for scaling designs. Now that looks a little better. So 
Volleyball mom, you can see the, just the aspect ratio itself made that a lot better. Everything fits well. Now this would be really easy to remove the background. And again, this is a very basic design. Um, you can get much more complex. Like if I go down, there's other ones that have more color. Uh, football mom, softball mom, you can see I scaled these out. So what I'm actually gonna do, I'm gonna take this softball mom, I'm gonna click these three dots because I wanna show you this too. Apply same config prompt and settings. And you can see that applies all the settings that were used to generate this prompt here, or this design here. So I'm gonna copy this. And now I'm gonna show you how I scale these prompts very easily using the My Designs GPT. So over in Chat GPT, you're gonna have this My Designs GPT. Again, I will link this in the description of this video. So you can come over here, this is free to use. I'm gonna just say scale this prompt to the top 10 sports, or most popular sports. Top 10 most popular sports. You, there's so many ways to scale this, but then I'm gonna paste my prompt here and then just hit go. And this My Designs GPT I set up to format the prompt output perfectly for Dream AI for creating these designs in bulk, basically do it in batches. So it saves you a lot of time. So you see here, that's very quick. So let's just look at these real quick. So we got soccer mom, basketball mom, and you can see if I look at the actual prompt, um, there's an orange basketball design. The basketball is placed inside a hoop. Uh, everything looks good, right? So each of these are adjusting according to the sport. So it's a really great way to scale these um, and there's so many ways to do this, but I'm gonna copy those, uh, just the prompts you can see, and there's a line break between each of them, which is really important. So if I go back to Dream, make sure parallel prompts are turned on, I'm gonna control V, and everywhere there's a break between your prompt, that'll act as an entirely new prompt using these same settings. So it's gonna generate four images per prompt. So if I come up, I'm gonna make these all public so you can see them again, it's gonna cost 84 credits, but that is 10 times four, so that's gonna be 40 designs, so I can just hit generate, let me scroll to the top, and you can see that every single one of these are generating. Um, so that won't take too long. Give that a moment to finish up. And when it's done, everything will populate here. And because I made these public, they're also gonna be available in the Dream AI public gallery here. But yeah, look at these, these are awesome. Perfect t-shirt designs. And obviously you can put them on various other products too. Basketball mom, these all look good. Uh, hockey mom, that looks pretty good. Track mom. Uh, swim mom, you can see the details are all accurate for scaling, you know, getting the swim goggles in, in this case and some water. Another volleyball mom variation looks great. Tennis mom. And I like how some of these have like the bracket around the ball. It's really creative. And of course that little heart because we asked for that in the prompt. Baseball mom. Yeah, these all look good. These are awesome, awesome designs for the most part. Some of them are going to get like that as two footballs, uh, which technically could work because it's replacing the O's, which I think the prompt might even say that. Like if I apply this, so I can just see real quick. Uh, this one probably doesn't, but it just did it itself. So that's pretty cool. But you can always adjust the prompt to get something else if you like. But soccer mom, golf mom, it's got the T. It's really quite creative. And now in some cases it's trying to do too much with the golf balls. So I'd adjust the prompts accordingly. But that is how you can scale these very easily using the My Designs GPT with Dream AI. Now it's, we can also support, you know, you can do that with any of the models here. So the Flux models, all the other Ideogram models, Recraft version three, Flux Juggernaut, Imagine three from Google, which is another great model, so the Stable Diffusion models, etc. But this video is about Ideogram version three. Uh, it's already getting a little bit longer than I wanted, but I do want to show you one more thing. Um, I did show you how you can, you know, get your own prompt. I'm over on Etsy. I'm just type, doing a very basic example here. Fishing PNG. I'm going to open up this first one, so don't waste time. Um, pretty solid design, most likely AI generated. Let me just take a quick screenshot of that. I just want to show you how you can kind of get inspiration from existing listings and designs. And I just pasted that screenshot into here. So now you can see it created a prompt out of it. And I'm just going to run it. I can make changes to this, which I usually do. But I'm just going to run that real quick and see what that turn, how that turns out so you can kind of have an idea there. Let's give that a moment to finish up. All right. So it looks like it is done. So fishing is my therapy. Um, look at that. That's actually a pretty fantastic design. This Ideogram version 3 model with the right prompts and the right aspect ratio, you can create some absolutely incredible designs. Um, another thing we could do here, let's look at this original again, Fishing is My Therapy. So you can see it's not exact same, it's the same concept. Obviously each of these designs is gonna, if I generated this a thousand times, each of them would be different. They'll be similar, but they'll be different. Um, now I'm gonna take this prompt, one, one more thing. Let's just try this one more time over the My Designs GPT, new chat. Scale this prompt to other, let's just say to four other popular hobbies. 
And let's see what it comes up with. I'm doing four to keep it short. So this looks like a mountain biker one. Okay. Midair jumping it during a jump with dust trailing behind the tires. Let's see how that does. A person knitting a colorful scarf. Camera captures scenic landscaping. You see photography, knitting. And it's saying, is my therapy, right? So it's, it's scaling this out very well for each of these. So reading is my therapy. All right. So again, just show you how this works. Copy those. It's four different prompts. Back to dream. Paste that in. I'm going to make them public so you can find these again in the library if you like. And in this case, we'll leave everything else as is and generate. And now we got right here, this is the camera one, the photography, and the other biker. What is this one here? Scarf. Let's see how these turn out. So taking an idea like we just saw, like fishing. So photography is my therapy. I mean, that looks quite good. And mountain biking is my therapy. And look how good Ideogram version 3 actually gets the typography. Um, the spelling for the most part is going to be really well. It does a really good job of it. It's not always perfect, but it does a really good job. And knitting is my therapy. Not bad. And then reading is my therapy. And there you go. So basically there's infinite ideas, infinite possibilities with Dream AI combined with the My Designs GPT. You can absolutely scale these out in so many easy ways to create really quality designs. Take them over to your listings page. You can just select them and download them or save them to your listings page, your collections here in My Designs. From there, you can bulk remove backgrounds, you can bulk upscale. If you wanna vectorize, you can do that. And of course, you can go turn them into products that you're selling on Etsy, Shopify, WooCommerce, etc. So that is a quick tutorial that turned out to be a little bit longer than you know a couple minutes, but hopefully you find value in it. If you do, please leave a comment below. Let me know what you'd like to see me make a video on next regarding My Designs. And of course, let me know your thoughts. Have a great day, cheers. Thank <laughs> you.